the last five to ten years, I believe um, a lot of promoters is all about I. We are trying to make a difference to our sport on the West Coast. We have to do this, otherwise we will fail. It's pretty simple. I mean, he's a racer, so he knows. He knows we do this for a living, and you know, he knows how to get the fans to the track. And uh, putting up the money, uh, you know, is all part of the puzzle, and uh, he understands that. So, uh, for us as racers, you know, we appreciate it, and uh, you know, we want to put on the best show that we can for the fans and, and uh, obviously the promoters and, and the people putting it on. There's too much at stake to just let it go the way it has been in the past. There's a lot of work to be done, I believe, on the West Coast to make that happen, but we're in a good position to, to, to move in that direction. Yeah, Skagit's tough. It's, you know, Peter's been trying some stuff with the track and, and seeing how it works out. And just like anywhere we go, you gotta be good all night. We were pretty good right when we unloaded. I feel like the first night we were probably a little bit off, but uh, the second night we were pretty dialed right, right from the get-go and um, yeah, qualified good, got through our heat and uh, was able to go from there. Hey, Jesse. Hi, Brent. Why are you guys always dumb when I get here? Well, because I was just talking fucking about nothing really at all. What? Talk about the race a little bit. Come on. Nah, we don't want to talk about the race. No. We're fucking good, dude. All right, hey, I like, I like that. We're fucking golden. All is good in the world. Yeah, we're great. We had a mediocre night last night, and we're having an above average night tonight now. <laughs> above average. <laughs> we had new standards. Yeah. I feel like there's just certain tracks that I know that I should probably win at, and I feel like a lot of times uh, we do. And um, yeah, I feel like just the confidence level and, and knowing my car is good and, uh, you know, kind of game on. Stay out front. Makes everybody's job easy. No, he's just, you know, typical Ricky, Ricky Bobby scenario. Like, you ain't first or last, so. He brings a little bit of excitement to um, our sport, and he, he's just been him. No fear. He doesn't have any fear, and, and it's like, you know, he's, he's, he's there for the win. And, and that makes, that's what makes it even better. He's not fake in any way. This is, this is what he is. So, um, mad respect for the, for the you know, for him. Um, he's good at what he does. Feature on night number two of the Sage Fruit Skagit Nationals. Racing into turn one, Shelton Hutcho on the bottom, J Mac around the top of the racetrack. McFadden leads down the back straightaway. Shelton right back to his inside in three and four. James McFadden leads, but Shelton Hutcho with an opportunity to close the gap in heavy traffic. Battle for the lead. Shelton Hutcho has caught it again. Oh, big time flame coming out of McFadden. Straight away. You can see the oil on the back of the number 83 and James McFadden out of the car. You know, it's going to happen uh, when we race as much as we do. So uh, just positioning yourself every night. And, you know, that night we were positioned right and, and let it all work out. Takes it down the back straightaway for the final time. Jacob Allen closing. Jacob's going to try to reel the top on the final circuit, but it won't be enough. Sheldon Hutton shoot gets the win. Jacob Allen second. Carson Messino third. Joe Myers Jr. fourth. And Brad Sweet in fifth. Sheldon Hutton shoot with a NOS energy drink in hand as he climbs on top to celebrate his victory on night two of the Sage Fruit Skagit Nationals. I mean, no complaints today. The West Coast has been a struggle for me. I feel like Skagit's been pretty decent to me, but. Uh, yeah, to get a win early on this West Coast swing, uh, going into Gold Cup and, uh, you know, Placerville, just try and uh, pick two or three of these off and, and move back home. Hats off to my guys. This whole NOS Energy Drink, West Tennessee Expo and crew has been uh, working really hard. I feel like we haven't won a race in a long time. And uh, Jacob, Ripper, uh, we got Rooster and Levi helping us this week. And uh, we're just having a lot of fun. We work you good? What else you got to do? Hey, can you go grab my helmet out of my cabinet? Uh, the one in the bag.
first 10 minutes I met Levi, he started working and, you know, nobody asked him nothing. He just started working. And that, to me, that was the kind of kid that, you know, I like to see racing and, and want to succeed. And, It came. <laughs> Turned out good. I had it in the sun earlier today, and he like left the carbon out. Pretty sick, huh? Is your other one like that? Yeah. It's badass, huh? You have to break it in next week. Welcome. Sheldon's like an idol to me. I mean, I've always looked up to him, and it's kind of really a big deal um, that he did this for me, and uh, it's been a good year with him on my suits and being able to work on his car, and I really appreciate him. You know, he shreds too, so, uh, you know, I like that, and it's pretty cool when he texts you, you know, Sheldon, I was ripping the top and sends you videos and, you know, stuff like that for me is awesome. And see kids get pumped up about racing cars, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. And, and for him to have goals, you know, he's going to be coming for my job one day, no doubt. And to me, that's cool, though, because we need kids like that that want to go racing. But like Levi was all pumped up to go ride go-karts and I was too, but it's just so hard to schedule stuff out with, you know, we always got to be at the next place and, and do this, do that, especially being out west. Right. I mean, I'm always down to go ride go-karts and uh, they had a pristine track literally across the street from Skagit, so. Yeah, got it from the top, don't know how to stop, foot is only on the gas. Uh, why'd he have to drop? He already dropped, everybody getting laughed. Uh, it's cool just to see Levi, like, you know, we go out there, leader runs the top, you know, we're throwing sliders, you know, to me that's awesome, that Levi just gets it, like, you know, we ain't going out there to roll the bottom and just ride go-karts on a Sunday, like, we're gonna go, you know, throw sliders and have a little bit of fun. Don't ride waves, just go with the flow. I don't need a gimmick, I don't need a trend, I don't need your little cosign. Still, I went and did it, everybody listen, did it all in life, no time. Look, this is not up for debate, nah, I know that they love to hate, yeah. Feeling like they doing something, but they never moving, they running in place. If I make a hit, then I'm gunning for first like I'm running the bases. Stuck in the matrix, I know that I had to break it. I see the code every time at the basics. I gave them back to back to back. Three tracks, three days, and it's a vacation. Uh, to me, that was awesome, and, and Levi had a blast, and uh, I had a blast too, so uh, that was perfect Sunday uh, ripping. Got it from the top, don't know how to stop, foot is only on the gas. Why'd he have to drop? He already dropped. Everybody getting laughed. Uh, he been doing it.